All right, street wraps installation video. First, get your uh, bike in a stand, pull off your tires, wheels. If you can, pull your chain. If not, pull it in a bag just to keep the grease away from your hands. After you're done with this, wash your hands. Make sure you have all the grease off your hands. And Most frames, one tube is going to be longer than the other tubes. Make sure that you measure your frame, find out which one's your longest one and use that as your longest piece of your kit. Lay your kit out the four thinner pieces are for your seat stays and your chain stays. The three larger pieces of course for your head, your top tube, your down tube and your seat tube and then a piece for your head badge. Get your stencil out and start measurements. Cut the first stencil out for your top tube. Test it around your frame. Make sure that it fits and bring it over to your kit. Lay your stencil down, make sure it's centered. Mark your line. And then cut it. Once the piece is cut, test it. Make sure you're happy with the fit. You can always trim. This fit looks good. So now we're going to measure the length of the top bar and cut the back piece. America's funny and steady. Yeah. After we measure, we cut our stencil. I would always cut it a little bit fat the first couple times. You can always come back and trim. So after you make your cut, test it, make sure you're happy with it. And now we're ready to apply it. End first. Make sure it's center. Set it. Now if you make a mistake, it goes on crooked, just lift it back up again and reposition it until you are center. Once you're center, lightly push down and now you can start working it around the bar. If you get any bubbles or any lifts at all, just lift it back up and push it out. meet in the bottom. Okay. If you have any brazons, water bottle holders, cable guides, just cut around them. Then push it around and once you're happy, seam it. Okay, once you're happy and you've got it all lined up, everything's pushed down, it looks clean, go ahead and take a piece of the extra lamination that we put in your kit and run it right on the seam. Push it down and now you've virtually locked it in. When you're ready to take the wrap off, you do the same thing. Just pull this off first, and then the wrap will pull right off as well. And we're just going to trim that with scissors. If you have any intricate lugs and you want to try to keep those exposed, what you do is just take an extra piece of vinyl, wrap it around. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace that out and I'm going to cut along those lines and then I'll have a stencil for that as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. For your seat stays and your chain stays, pretty much freehand. Make sure that it's center all the way down. Again, if you put it off center like I just did, just lift it and reapply it. Once you get that good straight seam all the way down, you can start to wrap it, and then we'll just cut it by hand. It's much easier that way. Go ahead and just cut the contour. 
Again, always leave a little extra. You can always go back and trim, clean it up after. You get down to the bottom, find a straight edge, cut away. If your bar is tapered at all, always start at the fat end and then work your way down. You may have a little excess material. Worst case, you'll have to just slice it and overlap it. Same as with the other bars, once this bar is completely wrapped and we're happy with it, we're going to apply the extra piece of lamination to seal it shut. When it comes to water bottle mounts, find it, kind of push around it, cut. Once you get a decent little cut, just push it through. So for your head tube, just make another stencil, trace it out, and cut it. wrap it. We're going to trim up these edges and seal it. So you're going to have a couple extra pieces left over in your kit. You can wrap your hubs with it, wrap your stem with it, wrap your seat post with it, whatever you want, or save it if you scratch or get a dent in your piece later. Uh, you can always use it as a patch. And there's your final product. Make sure you seal all the edges with lamination. It won't lift after that.